Hello and good evening. Welcome to this evening's news bulletin on Goa 365 with me, Marsha D'Souza. The stories that made headlines today. Opposition attacks government on price rise issue. Mixed response to Bund call. 65th birth anniversary of former Prime Minister late Sri Rajiv Gandhi celebrated. Now for the news in detail. On the third day of the assembly session, the opposition upped the ante by focusing on the inflation and price rise issues and failure of the government in implementing program for control of price rise in food commodities. The Maksa MLA Francisco de Souza raised the issue of the rise in the prices of commodities in the state and asked for details of the beneficiaries of the scheme that was started to control the rise in commodity prices in the state. Mazo Prashna law. The details of beneficiaries under the government scheme of government intervention for control of price rise schemes since inception with details of names, addresses, quantities, items, etc. on monthly basis. Maga with Sir Uttar Gaula, Sir, no individual details are maintained. Uh, supply, uh, commodities are supplied on verification of ration card. Hey, Uttar Maga, Kai Sajmana Speaker, Sir. Sarkar subsidize uh, dan dita, oil dita, batat kano dita, ani as a record, fuck the ration card pon dita mano sangta maga. Look, ani kaslo as a record dorina department, mujhe konang hoyta wo, this commodities go to which person, in what quantity, there is no verification. Speaking on the issue, the leader of the opposition, Mr. Manohar Parikar, accused the government of not maintaining proper records of the beneficiaries of the scheme. He is giving it genuine sleep. Because he is not aware of how much money he is paying, 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 how much money he is paying. Today it is 20th of August, when he is paying, in 80 days, you don't have how many people have benefited, you don't have what is the quantum of material supplied to the people, you don't know what is the amount of expenditure which government has to incur, which is subsidy. Kai is khabarna. Tuko khabarna lao sangu? I phoned them and I got it directly from them. Mr. Parikar also pointed out the fact that commodities were sold at a high rate at government subsidized stores. जून महीना नंजनी सोधा लगा तो माल बिकलो, अनि सब्सिडी साधारण सी क्लेम के लिए पड़े ती एक लाख सा, अंतो चार रुपया भी उलेदा, गोई चे पोपुलेशन पंद्रह लाख, मुझे एका मंचा वटलेन एक रुपया तो माल बिकलो, अनि सात पैसे जी सब्सिडी भी डी पर रेट एवरेज, अरे आंगा जे रेट डिले पड़े जून और जुलाई चे तातुन भीतर पालमोलिन तेल साढे सत्ता उन रुपया जून आना ने अठाव उन रुपया जुलाई मिला अरे आमी मई महीने जे एंडा का जून आप सुधा चौपन रुपया निकला थे हमी करेंट प्रोग्राम के लिए ना बर तू ये आने तू को कदर खबर आ स्पीकर सर गरीब लोकन मंडा हनी काढ़ा नहीं अनेक्शर पड़े आ ये वीट फ्लावर आटा ब्रेंडेड पंचीस रुपये पन्ना स्पेशल किलो अदरन साढे सौ हजार रुपये आटो अवेलेबल आ जानी पोस्टल तेरी पिल्स ने किरेर कसले ना होते पिल्सबरी पिल्सबरी मनु पौष आटो मुझे सपातिया एकदम मऊ होता है भी मुझे एडवरटाइज़ भी टीवी जरूरत है त्याह तुम की गरीब लोकांग दिता ले सब्सिडाइज़ मनु साढ़े पंचीस रुपया replying to the question the chief minister clarified the government's stand on this scheme and assured the house to bring more accountability in operating the scheme when market answer the rupian meta there are with this Government decided that we will share the transportation incurred by these bodies plus their share of margin profit which will be borne by the government and people will try to be given these commodities at wholesale rate. This was an effort. The effort was good. I even still today maintain it that the effort was sincere. But still if there are some uh, loopholes, government will plug those loopholes and see that this scheme continues. The opposition also attacked the civil supplies minister, Jose Philip de Souza, for not investigating into the issue of kerosene hawkers. The leader of the opposition, Manohar Parikar, brought to the notice of the house that hawkers are involved in selling kerosene for the purpose of adulterating petrol. 
huge quantities of kerosene is being mixed used for mixing up with diesel petrol and this kerosene which is given to the hawkers have again no record to whom they have sold is minister aware that most of this kerosene is sold between 25 rupees to 30 rupees a liter na dala am dakheta maje ro are you having any record inspection of this hawkers do you have all addresses of all hawkers i have a record kitle how many hawkers you have inspected 705 ha 705 kire 700 kire 700 hawkers The civil supplies minister Jose Philip de Souza assured the house that he would take action if there was any specific case brought to his notice. Only, how did how did it cross that? I mean, can not petrol or gas or nuclear vehicle? Is that can not pull it? No. Can it pull it? No. How it is? Such a complete bus layer pull it. Can't you can pull it? No. सातशे ओकर एकशे ऐसी लिटर पर मंथ इतनी क्वॉंटिटी आई एक लाख सवीस हजार दौनशे लिटर कैरोसिन जाए ये सगले कैरोसिन एक तरी मिक्स कर बसी कैरोसिन घपा वता ना जो सत्तावीस रुपया लिटर विकले वा जुवारी नगर तो आज रेट हमको शेजारी ना ना तो संगत सत्तावीस रुपया लिटर विकता जुवारी नगर ये ओकर धा रुपया पेट्रोल कैरोसिन नॉट पेट्रोल कैरोसिन ये सत्तावीस रुपये विकता तुम्हें इंटेन्शन होकर दिवे कि झोपड़पट्टी वाले तो धा रुपया मेचे मुझे इंटेन्शना प्रमान धा रुपया विकले वता खरें विकले वाल तुवे कित इंस्पेक्शन के स्पीकर सर जरी तो को कंप्लेन आन पर्टिकुलर हजेर नोटिस Mr Parikar also pointed out the large number of licenses issued to hawkers in the city of Margaon. Jada agar garaj athe chad astale maka sang Margaon je ekas gavan 100 giryak. Oi Margaon chambara Rawal fund 45 a fakt Rawal fund na vachu nako. Mr Parikar also demanded an investigation into the kerosene hawkers issue to which the civil supplies minister agreed. उट and then supply them je kon genuine janka kharas garaj asa tanka supply kar pan je kon ashe chortat sogle te mapsha jo gadyo ponni apa boshi kerosene ajer dalta kalo kalo duwar sottat i will do the inquiry and take action the state witnessed a mixed response to the one day nationwide token strike called by the eight major trade unions in the country including the all india trade union congress and the center for industrial trade union to protest against the government's anti-labor and neo-liberal policies. In the capital city of Panjim, it appeared to be a day like any other as most establishments, government offices and even a few banks were observed to be functioning. Despite the total ban called by the Kadamba Workers Union, buses were seen operating on all the routes of KTC, thus preventing the inconvenience to commuters. In Verna however the Verna Majdur Ekta Union stopped traffic near the Titan bus stop forcing the police to resort to a lathi charge to clear the stir The employees of various units located at Verna Industrial Estate observed the strike in totality demanding an abolishment of the contract system besides voicing other demands Tumcha supporter kadun da बराबर 
Only employees in the industrial estates of Bethoda, Kundai and Madkai struck work in response to the Band call.